What's going on everyone? It's Joe DeLoneWare back with another video. Let me just real quick put on my correct Yardwear shoes and then let's get started. So there's a lot of sprinkler heads out there and I've used both rotary, I've used uh, MP rotators and what I want to do today is talk about the MP rotator and why I think the MP rotator could be the best head out there. That came out wrong. The best sprinkler head out there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to power on one of my zones of my sprinkler system right here with my Ratio app. I absolutely love the Ratio app. Uh, there's other ones out there. there. Rainbird has apps. I know that Hunter makes apps, things like that. Ratio is a Bluetooth uh, sprinkler system. You connect all your wires up into the system. Then it's controlled by Wi-Fi, which is really great. You can con control it from anywhere. So if you're on vacation and you want to control it from there, you can control it from there. As long as you're, you are connected to your Wi-Fi, you are good to go. All you got to do is program your zones in your phone and then turn them on. So this is what I love about the MP rotator. It's always at a constant stream as opposed to a rotor, just like this one right here. Now this is a Rainbird right here. I bet this is actually what I had right here in this location. I'll show you here in a second. But with a rotator, it's only, it's going basically one fixed point to the next fixed point, And it's only spraying at that point that you're, it's spraying at the time. Whereas an MP rotator, as you can see here, it's doing a constant stream. That's what I really love about the MP rotator is that it's a constant stream. It's evenly watering that section of your yard. The only downside to an MP rotator is obviously it's going to put out less water as, this, as opposed to a rotor. So obviously with an MP rotator, you're going to have to water longer if you want to put down more water. With a typical MP rotator based on their website, it puts out about 0.4 inches per hour. Now, one of the other great things that I like about the MP rotator is the wind ability. What I mean by the wind ability is it really doesn't get affected by high winds. Now, we got a pretty good breeze here today, but what I got here is my Husqvarna uh, electric battery uh, blower right here. What I want to do is just demonstrate a high wind and how it kind of it basically kind of keeps that stream. Um, you're not really losing water per se. So let me show you what I mean by the wind reduction. So that's on the low setting. You can see I pointed it right at the tip right there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it up to the turbo now and show you what that looks like. So you can see there, even with that high wind that I was throwing at this sprinkler, it was still putting out a decent amount of water. It was still continuing keeping that stream what I really like and it's evenly watering still which is great as opposed to a rotator where it's only in that one direct point where it's only watering and obviously a rotator like I said I keep bringing it up but it, it's obviously going to be putting out more water but it might not be evenly watering as well as a rotator would. So earlier in the video, I was mentioning the actual sprinkler head, and this is the actual sprinkler head right here. This is the MP rotator right here. Now, they come in all different sizes. I have right here a blue one, a red one, and a yellow one. Yellow throws the furthest distance, red throws the shortest, and then blue is in the middle. The blue uh, throws between 22 and 30 feet. There's an actual chart Hunter has. I'll throw it up here so you guys can take a look. Go check it out, the, the chart. You can find these heads at your local Home Depot or Lowe's. I've been able to find most of them in my Home Depot or Lowe's, but some of the different distances that I can't find, I go on a website, it's called sprinklerwarehouse.com. I'll leave it linked below. I'm not affiliated in any way with them. I just found it on my own. Super cheap, $5.55 per head, which is awesome, super cheap and affordable. Another thing that's great about the MP rotator is that it fits in different bases. Uh, this right here is a Hunter 4 inch pop up. I've used Rainbird pop ups before. So, what's really great, super easy to install. All you gotta do, this is actually a brand new one. I have it on hand, a spare just in case if any of my other heads break is I would basically just screw this down to the bottom of my sprinkler system. Then you just pull up the top right here. You would take off the cap at the top right here. 
And then from there, all you're doing is screwing on that MP rotator and then it just pops down. So I'm gonna be out of frame on this one right here, but I wanna show you how easy it is to replace this head. So for some reason, this head broke. All I need is a just basic little screwdriver like this. It has, it's a flat tip screwdriver. I'm just gonna pop this up like this. I can either hold this or I can put a clamp here. This is actually a rainbird clamp. And then you can clamp it in place. I'm just gonna screw this off. I got another one right here. I'm gonna put this one Screw this one back down. And then unclamp it and sh let it go. So one of the last things that I really love about the MP rotator is the ease of adjusting it. And what I mean by the ease of adjusting it is by the different directions, the length that it shoots out. It's super easy. Only thing you have to buy is this orange little uh, screwdriver device right here. It actually has a tip at the end right here. And then basically what you do is to control the distance, you tighten the top and then to control the direction or the, the different way that it, the spray pattern and it's going is you put this on top and you turn it like this. So let me show you. So for some reason I wanted this a shorter distance or a more let's say more the, the the angle itself as you can see the angle got shortened now it's only to here now if i want to make it longer and i want to get it to the edge of the grass i just turn it like this and then i can just stop it right where the edge of the sidewalk is right here and you can see it's going to stop that pattern right here and again to control the distance or the flow you just put this on top and you either tighten it i really don't want to do this right now because i have it set but you can either tighten it to make the distance shorter or if you want the distance to go longer obviously you're going to loosen it and the, the flow of the water will go further so just a quick video for you guys here today on the mp rotator and why i really love the mp rotator i've used both like i said the rotor and obviously the mp rotator i've outfitted all my sprinklers now with the mp rotator uh, I've, actually what really gave me the idea for the mp rotator was watching ryan Noor's video on his installation of his sprinkler system he did mp rotators and i just really love that constant stream like i showed you guys earlier you can see this one right here by this christmas tree just a constant stream it's constantly going going back and forth uh, it's that stream is always going you're getting an even coverage the only downfall like i said is the 0.4 inches per hour that it puts out for each sprinkler head so if you have any questions on the mp rotator leave them in the comment section below if there's anything you think i've missed in today's video leave it in the comment section below if you don't agree with me on the mp rotator leave it in the comment section below i love to hear what you guys use at home this is what i've used my system is a diy system i put it in myself it's not the conventional way of putting a sprinkler system in i did not use pvc i've used funny pipe for a lot of my piping that's a, another video for another time uh, but if i could do it over again i would do it a little bit different but i would still use the mp rotators if you enjoyed today's video or if you found today's video helpful make sure you smash that like button it really does help out with the channel and if you're interested in any of my other content i'm available on instagram i'm available on tiktok go check me out there i'll leave them linked below and like always guys i'll see you in the next one